Welcome to the 13th lecture on calculus. Today we will discuss geometric series. Geometric series are one of the simplest examples of series of real numbers. They have important applications in many areas for example in physics, engineering, biology, economics, computer science and finance. So today we will define this geometric series and we will study its convergence and divergence. Let R be a real number, then for this R one can construct a series of the form this whose nth term is R power n. So this series is called a geometric series. So a geometric series is a series of the form summation R power n. Okay. So this is a series whose nth term is R power n. So this is a series where each successive term is produced by multiplying the previous term by a constant number r. So such series we call a geometric series. And then we will prove this theorem, this is the main theorem for this lecture. It says that a geometric series like this, it converges if and only if r satisfies some condition. So this is the condition. What is that? The absolute value of r that should be less than 1. And in this case, that is when absolute value of r is less than 1, then the sum of the series is given by this value 1 by 1 minus r. So we write that this series, this summation, it is same as this 1 by 1 minus r in this case. Okay. So let us prove this theorem. To prove this theorem, we consider two possible cases. So you consider a geometric series that is summation of r power n for a fixed real number r. Then you have two possibilities either absolute value of r that is greater than or equal to 1 or in another case you can have absolute value of r that is less than 1. Okay. And if we study these two cases and if we prove that in the first case this series is divergent and in the second case this series is convergent and the sum of the series is given by this value then we are done. So that proves that this series is convergent if and only if absolute value of r is less than 1. Uh, consider these two cases and in this case we have to argue that this series is divergent. So if we consider the limit of the nth term that is r power n. So what is this limit? So if we have this condition that absolute value of r it is greater than or equal to 1 then uh, this limit it cannot be 0. Why? Because absolute value of r it is greater than or equal to 1 that means so either r is greater than 1 or r is same as 1 or r is less than or equal to minus 1. So if r is equal to 1 then this limit it is same as 1 that is something non-zero. If r is greater than 1 then this limit infinite and if r is less than or equal to minus 1 in that case this limit it does not exist. So in all cases when absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1 so in some cases this limit does not exist and in some cases it exists but it is not equal to 0. So this series it is not satisfying the necessary condition for convergence. So a series is convergent that implies that limit of the nth term that should be 0. So that is a necessary condition for a series to be convergent. So since it is not satisfying that necessary condition this series it cannot be a convergent series. So in this case this series is divergent. Now let us consider the second case. In this case this absolute value is less than 1 and in this case we have to argue that this series is convergent and the sum is given by this value. So we consider the sequence of partial sums that is given by S sub n and what is that? This S sub n this is the sum of the first n terms that is 1 plus r plus r square up to r power n minus 1 because this series it is starting from n equal to 0. So first term is 1, second term is uh, r, so on and nth term is r power n minus 1. So one can write this as 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r because 
this 1 minus r power n it is just 1 minus r times 1 plus r plus r square so on up to r power n minus 1 so this equality it is well known and thus we have that this thing is same as this one okay and so this is just 1 by 1 minus r minus r power n divided by 1 minus r for all n greater than or equal to 1 since absolute value of r is less than 1 limit n tends to infinity r power n this is 0 so therefore limit of this part as n tends to infinity this this limit it is 0 because 1 by 1 minus r this is some constant one can take it out and then it will be limit n tends to infinity r power n so limit of this part it is 0 and this is some constant sequence and limit of this part that will be uh, just this thing 1 by 1 minus r so if you use the relation between limits and algebraic operations so limit of sn it is just limit of this minus limit of this part so all together we get that limit n tends to infinity sn it is just 1 by 1 minus r and therefore this series is convergent and the sum is given by this limit okay so this sum this series it is same as 1 by 1 minus r okay and here is an example of geometric series so you can consider this summation uh, 1 by 2 power n okay so here in this case this r is 1 by 2 so it is less than 1 of course its absolute value is less than 1 and therefore uh, this this series it is a convergent series and its sum is given by this value 1 by 1 minus half so it is same as 2 so this infinite summation it is just this summation it is same as 2 okay and that's all i'll stop